Hey, Geonos, this is cool, clear water. Is it a mineral? No. Crude oil. Don't put your hands in it, by the way. This stuff is Australia's mineral wealth. Not a mineral, though. Mercury, the only metal that is liquid at room temperature. No, not a mineral. Coal, come on, T-Rox. Coal, Australia's mineral wealth. It's all everywhere. No, it's not a mineral. Don't break your heart. So, hey, T-Rox, what the hell is a mineral? Well, hang in there. We, we will, will find, find out, out together. together. Well, folks, this is a beautiful piece of pink topaz. Is this a mineral? You bet it's a mineral. This is definitely a mineral. So let's have a look at what makes a mineral a mineral. So we've got a little blackboard going, definition of a mineral. So what have we got? Well, it has to be inorganic. Right? It can't come from living organisms. That's kind of important as time goes on. It also has to be solid. So it has to be solid at room temperature and pressure. So you can see where crude oil disappears. Also, um, it uh, has to have a definite chemical composition. Can't be wishy-washy. You have to be able to describe the atoms that make it up and the proportions of those atoms. And uh, you know, that can also rule uh, quite a lot of uh, biological stuff out. And uh, lastly, but not leastly, it has to have a specific crystalline structure. So the atoms need to arrange themselves in a specific repeating pattern is called a crystal structure and that's what defines a mineral so let's go and have a look at some examples so we can see where the ramifications of this actually fit into the real world Well, folks, this is azurite. It's a beautiful copper mineral, as you can see, crystalline, definitely. So, mineral, too right. This is a beautiful piece of pink crystalline spodgy moon. This is an uh, aluminium silicate rock. Very pretty thing. Also got lithium in it. This is uh, tanzanite. This is a beautiful gem from Africa. I'm not sure if it's uh, what its chemistry is, but it's pretty. It surely is. This is hematite. Hematite sitting on quartz, uh, definitely a mineral, crystalline, solid room temperature, non-organic, all the good stuff. And of course, one mineral that is definitely a mineral is gold. Our good old friend, no fool's gold here, the real gold. Good stuff, definitely a mineral. Uh, what have we got next? Well, this is galena. This is actually the ore of lead. It can also contain silver and zinc and a few other herbs and spices, but this is galena and this is definitely a mineral. This is uranite. This is, of course, the ore that they get urine from. And uh, it's a bit radioactive. Could be uranium. Anyway, it's pretty and it's definitely a mineral. Uh, I have trouble saying this thing. Rhodoo cryosite means rose-colored rock in Greek. Very pretty. It's a carbonate mineral. So this is actually not most of silicon, it's carbonate. But it's definitely a mineral and is uber pretty. Amazing thing, just is. So let's have a bit of a look at some stuff that oh, we'll have to test our knowledge to see if they're minerals or not. Pro tip, they're not. So folks, this is Darwin glass, but uh, that's not a mineral, but this is real Darwin glass. This is from the Darwin crater in Tasmania, and it is not a mineral because it is a glass. It's amorphous it doesn't have a crystalline structure this is trintonite this is from the trinity site where they blew up the first plutonium atomic bomb this place here and it is not a mineral because it is completely and utterly man-made uh, the desert sand was fused together by the atomic weapon as you can see workplace health and safety wasn't quite then what it is today it's like three days after the weapon went off they're walking in there anyway this is obsidian volcanic glass but you already know now that obsidian cannot be a mineral because it is amorphous it doesn't have a crystalline structure that's why it's a glass but there's something else that's a bit amorphous amber oh hang on not that amber this amber um 
this is tree sap. So this comes, it's organic. It comes from a, uh, a tree. So it can't be a mineral, although it is very cool. This also comes from trees that no longer exist, by the way, but lignite is, comes from lignum, which just comes from trees. So this is, this is an organic source. Even though it contains minerals, it is not a mineral in itself. Therefore, this wonderful stuff, limestone, my recent video on limestone, Limestone is not a mineral. It contains the mineral calcite, but it is not a mineral. Therefore, it isn't, nor is marble, which is its metamorphic cousin. I think one of the most beautiful rocks on earth, I might add, but it is not a mineral. So I suppose then we all know that this is not a mineral either, natural gas. Very hard to get a picture of natural gas, by the way. It's not, so it's just not a mineral. It can't be, it doesn't fit anything in the definitions. So next time you see the pollies up there on TV rabbiting on and carrying on about our mineral this and mineral that, talking about coal, they're talking about natural gas and they're talking about all this other stuff, you know they're talking out of the wrong end of their body because most of that is just wrong. Now, it's all fun and games. You can have a bit of a snigger and forgive them because they know not what they say until they start putting it into our laws. Those definitions have to be correct. Otherwise, there can be big problems further down the track. So anyway, us geo nerds, we know what the right definition is. I'm sorry this video has been a little long in coming because I've been a little unwell, but I'm better now. So as you can hear, not completely, but I'm getting there. Um, more coming very soon. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the old subscribers that keep watching this stuff. I really do appreciate it. And if you do like this stuff, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. Apparently it's good for YouTube's business. I don't think it does much for us, but anyway, uh, at least it'll let you know when I uh, do put out a new video. And if you've got any friends you think might like this content, kick them my way. 60% of the people watching these videos are not subscribed to the channel. Don't care one way or the other myself, but apparently it makes a difference. Anyway, that's it for this week. Look forward to uh, hearing from you in the comments, as we always do. Keep, Keep rocking. T-Rocks, out. out.